Accelerate Health Equity is a partnership and collaboration between many of the top health systems in the Philadelphia region. It also includes the City of Philadelphia Department of Public Health as well as Independence Blue Cross. So it's really um, a working group between all of these institutions focused on attempting to achieve health equity in Philadelphia. Philadelphia is the poorest large city in the U.S. We also have the dubious distinction of ranking 67th out of 67 counties in Pennsylvania in terms of health equity outcomes. What that means is that our maternal health outcomes are poor, our outcomes related to chronic disease management, whether that's diabetes or heart failure are problematic, and we have a lot of Philadelphians and people around the area who struggle with the social determinants of health. Many, many Philadelphians are facing health inequities where they don't have access to primary care. They're not receiving screenings that they should be for different health conditions. Or they're experiencing things like transportation gaps. And if they're not able to get childcare or time off of work, they're just missing those appointments. And so you see these gaps start to grow between the people who have the least and the people who have the most. And typically in Philly, the community that we've seen really deeply impacted are black Philadelphians. So they're experiencing a higher burden of disease, lower rates of care, lower life expectancies, higher mortality from treatable diseases. And that is really what we are coming together to try to tackle as an initiative. A number of health-related organizations, we got together and said, let's do something differently. We'll commit to addressing inequity in health care, but we will publish the results of Philadelphia County Health Outcomes on a website and then hold ourselves accountable to correct those numbers, to, to close the gaps. So I think at this point, we've moved through phases from storming to norming to performing in a, in a sense. Unlike many of those efforts that threw money at projects only until the money dried up, we actually focused on trying to do pilots that addressed specific targeted inequities. And when we find a, a solution that works, we want to scale it across the city. Really what we do well is we coordinate, we amplify, and we do research to help understand where some of the challenges are. We're really focused on actionable findings, and we're really focused on identifying bright spots and promising interventions that we can spread and scale around the region. Independence Blue Cross has access to medical claims data. What this is, is as you go to the doctor, when you see your PCP, your primary care physician, you have services, maybe they do a screening for you, maybe you have a behavioral health visit. Uh, all of those data are located at Independence Blue Cross and as a part of Accelerate Health Equity, we've created a data exchange to conduct research about inequities. As a result of this, we've investigated different clinical outcomes like cardiovascular health, behavioral health, and maternal health. We've used health plan data and, and uh, publicly available data to identify where the gaps in access, quality, experience, and outcomes exist, both geographically, interracially, as well as socioeconomically. A central focus of our uh, 2025 strategy, we wanted to emphasize equitable whole person health care, which really is trying to drive equitable access and outcomes regardless of socioeconomic status, race, gender, etc. And we have invested a significant amount of money and, and human capital to get there along with our partners in the provider community. So a big part of collaborating in the health equity space is convening interested parties together. We have a steering committee that's comprised of representatives from all of our collaborating partners, and they really form a brain trust that help us think through how to foster health equity around the region. One of the things that we wanted to do with Accelerate Health Equity was to create a grants program, and so we turned to the community. The topic that we heard over and over and over again was gun violence. We have partnerships in this space with Jefferson Health Health, Temple Health, Penn Medicine, and CHOP. And they are all doing really innovative and different style of work in this space. Part of the power of Accelerate Health Equity is that we bring together many different interested parties who are focused on health equity. In addition to the major health systems and in addition to the Department of Public Health, that also includes community-based organizations such as Together for West Philadelphia. In our partnership with Together for West Philadelphia, we are working with members of trusted venues to serve as ambassadors to their community. 
they can go to someone that they know, that they trust in their neighborhood and say, hey, this is what's going on. Can you help me get connected? Then we'll refer them into a community health worker that's embedded in health systems that are participating in this work with us. And so we are helping them through that whole process from start to finish of identifying that they need care, identifying someone who can help them figure out what they need and actually getting them into the systems. One of the challenges that we have in American healthcare is that we're very siloed. And when we think about what will foster health equity, it's breaking down those barriers and breaking down those silos. One of the things that I love about Accelerate Health Equity is that we think big. And so we've started thinking about how to scale within Metro Philadelphia, but we're not gonna stop there. We wanna scale past Philadelphia to figure out how to promote and support health equity around the country.